Check it out, folks. Today, we're making a breakfast burrito, right? Listen, not a whole lot of ingredients. Listen, you guys can see that I'm outside, but check this out. Come on in and take a look at these ingredients. Listen, we got eggs, potatoes, and by the way, I'm gonna be using like the frozen potatoes. You guys can do them and you know, make your own, that's cool. But this right here is gonna be my level up. For those of you guys who are doing that pork, whew, we got that ham steak, folks. We got cheese, onions, uh, look, Italian sausage. We stand with that pork thing, but this right here is over the top as far as the flavor. And then we got that 80-20 ground beef. And guess what? My tool of choice is the griddle, folks. Okay, so look, the first thing I'm gonna do is look, the potatoes, right? Don't forget, potatoes take a minute, right? So you just see me go ahead and just grease everything up. Now, I wanna tell you guys this. Listen, you don't have to always be outside on a griddle. You guys can get yourself a griddle. You can do it in your, you know, your kitchen inside the house or you can get yourself, if you got one of them larger uh, cast iron skillets, that works good too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to get this going. When it comes to our, you know, our meat, our, you know, our protein right here, listen, these go come along kind of fair, fairly fast. And if I hadn't said already, look, this is a mild side of my, you know, my Italian sausage, and this is 80-20, right? So I'm gonna leave that there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna multitask. Look, and also look, I'm gonna be seasoning everything, you know, with my Level Up series, right? Look, this is my A, this is for your lighter meats. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here, do your ground beef. This is great on veggies, everything. If you guys ain't got none of this, you need to go ahead and pick some of this up. You guys will thank me later. Now, let me go ahead and get set up so we can go ahead and get our guac together. All right, so look, I'm getting ready to just take a look at the bottom right here. You can start to see they starting to brown, right? So if I turn them over, you can see them like that. I like to give them a little mix. But before I do, I like to hit my potatoes, you know what I mean, with just with a little bit of seasoning. You can see the coloring, you know what I mean? I ought to let you know right there that it's gonna be nice. Right? So now I just take it and I just start bringing it over. And then when you're making potatoes, you know what I mean? Uh, just like we do when we frying them, really, you know, when you're making french fries, listen, you're gonna have to give yourself a little bit of, you know, a little bit of oil. Okay, so I'm starting to make my little flip and what I'm getting ready to do is, you know, position them, right? Oh yeah, because we want these to be crispy. So I'm gonna start moving these more so towards the back like this, right? Just spread them out a little bit. I'm gonna reduce this heat just a little bit. And now we're getting ready to come with, you know, our meat. So I'll start first with the 80-20. Now, notice I just put it down right here. I want it to form like a little bit of the crust because I want the bottom parts, those pieces to have that flavor, right? So we want to just put a little crust on it. So I let it sit for about one minute. Then I'm gonna start breaking it up. You know what I mean? Keep them kind of like away from each other so I can like flip them and then I'll marry them all together. Trust me, folks, this right here is the way you do it. All right, so about after a minute, about how ever long it took me to go ahead and do those avocados, you know what I mean? Then I come back to it, and then if I did like that, we kind of look. This is what we're looking for. That right there, kind of. You guys know. Look, that's more like so for uh, when you say breakfast sausage, you know that's what y'all be having. You see, but that right there is part of the flavor too, right? So I just move this over here like that. Then we do the same thing, you know, with our 80-20. Now I'm gonna come over here. Take a look at my, my my browns. Just so happened to be that my last name is Brown. Oh yeah. I can feel the texture on them already. They starting to get to where I like them. You know what I mean? Nice and crispy. I want them to be crispy on the outside and soft in the inside. Sound like, I don't think it was a song, something like, something similar to that. Now, come over here to this, flip this over. Oh yeah. Talk to me, folks. Tell me what your brain is doing right now. All right? Let's move that. Let's keep them over there. All right? Again, for the flavor, this is the part to make everybody in your backyard or in your kitchen, they just like, man, that's good. Now that my meat is done, remember, everything on this side of my, my griddle, that's, you know, that's cook zone. Over here, I just put it over here, right? This is my non-cooked. Are you? Well, I guess I can say it that way. It is non-cooked. 
you know what I mean? But it's more so just the fact that this is, the, you know, my low heat. I have it on the lowest setting, right? All right, so you remember what we have right here was that steak? Check it out. Okay, so just put a little oil down, right? So we finna get them A's going. We don't want nothing to stick. We want them to kind of like glide and slide, right? Now, just to give you the setup, I got this one on. This one's on like a medium heat. This one was on low. And then over here, I done turned both of them off. You know what I mean? Because it's enough residual heat to just keep everything nice and warm, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and, you know, get these A's going. And you know, for all my folks that don't like that runny egg, now's the time you can just go ahead and just break them down, right? Bring them out, it's all good. And then for myself, I like to go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of salt on one side. All right, so look, now it's time to go ahead and get that tortilla. Let's get it nice and warmed up. All right, so look, everything is done. I got everything off, right? You guys notice I did two tortillas? Look, that's just gonna roll up one. And I'll show you why. You need to have like a little bit of a bigger surface when you're doing right. And especially with me. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just do me a little mix. Just right here. You know what I mean? Cause check it out. This one right here is for myself, right? So I'll just come on over here and I'll just put it in here. My problem is, listen, I stuff them so much. You know what I mean? Sometimes they get hard to roll even with two. Now we gotta have some meat folks, right? But that's it right there, right? We got that. Look, I'm finna come with my little cheese right now. Right? Look, the heat gonna help all of this melt. And I'm gonna put it back on the grill. Right? So, we got that. And I don't know if I had said it already, but I do everything meaty. Right? So I'm coming with my ham. Look at that right there. You see that? Some of y'all got what I'm cooking right now. Right? We ain't done. And we just made them eggs. You know what I mean? As you can see, look, it's starting to build up. You're like, A.B., I thought you said you wasn't going to put so much on there. But I don't know how to make them like regular. This is why I make them like this, right? We got egg. And then we spent that time starting off in the very beginning. Whew, we got that hash brown, folks. Try to put it down so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? That's enough right there. You got some of y'all probably thinking like, hey, something missing, A.B. Yeah, it is. Look, we got them red onions. You know what I mean? Uh, I like onions. Y'all talk to me, which one you like, white, yellow, or red? For me, it go red, yellow, then white, right? And then we took the time to make that guizak. Got it nice and hot. Look, we just wanna put this right here and toast it. It's nothing like having that tortilla. Like, listen, when you bite into it, it got that little crunch. Everything in the inside is hot. That cheese is melted. Check me out, folks. All right, so now we just take it, flip it over, Look at that right there. That's what you want to have. Ah, yeah. Hey, so this is it, folks. Really just wanted to, you know, bring it to the forefront. You know what I mean? Because I think, you know, breakfast burritos, things like that, you know, especially when you grill them, you know what I mean? Uh, they kind of like get overlooked, right? So you guys see it. I can just tell you, look, this right here. Man, it ain't nothing like when you hit it in that little crunch right there. So check this out. Cheers, y'all. Hey, I don't know what else to say. Listen, again, I did it on a you know, griddle outdoors. You guys can do this in the inside. You can do it on a griddle plate, use your stove, or if you got a cast iron skillet, you can do it like that. You just have to take each individual piece, set it off to the side. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, check this out. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna sit down with this, a glass of Kool-Aid, and I'm out. Peace.